Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I know it's probably the end of January by the time you're seeing this video. Um, yeah, so it's been a while and I would like to pretend to say it's because I've been super busy, but I've been playing The Sims 2, so yeah. But hopefully I'm back. <laughs> I have to get back into the routine of filming and editing videos, so yeah. And I'm really excited actually. I've been getting back into makeup and all the new releases. And yeah, I'm just excited to use more of what I I have so I can like get rid of things that don't work for me or so I actually know more about products that I can share on my channel so while I am excited about new things I also don't want to like bring anything random in my collection anymore I want my purchases to be very thought out and yeah I guess that's my little New Year's resolution spiel but um, yeah, but today's video is going to be a full face, mostly, of my 2019 favorites. So these are the products that I like use the most in 2019. While I do really like these products, uh, I mostly pick them because they're products that like I kept reaching for, or I like brought um, traveling with me. So yeah, let's just get started because it will be. A lot um, so I'm actually gonna go in like order of category I actually have notes on my phone so I wouldn't forget so yes obviously the first step is the base for my favorite primer this is not going to come as a surprise to you if you watched my other videos it's the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer I never remember the name of this, but it's like the primer I always use. I actually think this is almost empty, and I don't think I have a backup. But that's okay, because I have other primers to get through. But if I didn't have a bunch of other ones... I lost my lighting. If I didn't have a bunch of other primers to use, I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I just love this, and sometimes... Well, a lot of the time, actually, I put this on even if I'm not going to put, like, a foundation or a BB cream. I just like the way it looks. So, yeah. It smells really good. It leaves, like, a nice glow to the skin without looking, like, metallic. And I actually really like First Aid Beauty. Like, I've tried a lot of products from them. And there's never been anything that I didn't like. Yeah, I find it's pretty hydrating also because at the end of the day, I find my skin looks like hydrated. So, like it doesn't look dry or cakey. So, yeah, I really love that product. Um, but I did have some other... Oh no, that's the only primer I had. For base product, for complexion products... I had two things that I used the most. So the first one is my Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. This is the shade Light. I think there's only two or three shades, which isn't good. And this one is actually a bit dark for me. I noticed when I use this in like the dead of winter, so like now, it, um, not that it looks super weird but it is like a shade darker than my skin but because it's a BB cream it blends in nicely and it kind of just looks like I have color so I don't mind and this is a 100% natural origin all-in-one beauty balm cream I believe there's SPF 20 in this as well but there's like no information on the bottle so I would have to like actually check that and I'll mention it down below but yeah, this I love. Um, and the other thing, if I want something more, I guess it's more dewy, would be my Makeup Forever Water Blend. This is actually a foundation, but it kind of gives even less coverage than this, if I remember correctly. 
because it can be very sheer but you can build it up and if you use it with a brush i mention this in like every video if you use it with a brush it goes on a lot more opaque but i use it with a sponge and it just kind of evens out any redness in my skin so i think i want to use this one tonight because i'm not going anywhere so i don't want to put on like a whole bunch of makeup right you gotta shake this up um, before you put it on because it gets like a weird texture like a jelly almost so it looks like this this is very light for me maybe like half a shade too light if I'm being honest but because it's so sheer you can't really tell <laughs> Also, if I have like a lot of blemishes to cover, which right now I actually don't, so knock on wood. <laughs> but um, I would usually go in first and do my spot concealing. But I actually didn't really have a favorite concealer. Um, as you guys probably know, because I always complain about it. <laughs> Um, I was using the Kat Von D, uh, cream, whatever, locket concealer. Um, and I didn't, I mean, it was good. And it was like a good match for my, like, the skin on my face. Um, but it started to get really thick and dry. And I don't know if that's because I had it for too long or if the formula is just not stable. I don't know. Plus, there's all that drama surrounding Kat Von D. So, <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, if you guys didn't see, if you're not, like, a beauty community stalker like I am, um, she actually sold her brand back to Kendo, which is, they also own Fenty, Bite Beauty, a lot of brands. I can't think of them right now. But, basically they're keeping her name like just the kvd because it's like for packaging reasons probably um but it's going to be called kvd vegan beauty and she has nothing to do with it anymore so if you stopped buying kat von d because of like all the drama and rumors and anti-vax <laughs> issues then uh maybe you could buy them again if you wanted to but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. But I will use concealer for my um, discoloration here. This is not a favorite yet. I think I tried this in my last video. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is what I replaced the Kat Von D one with. I think I'm just going to go in with this. I'm not going to use too much because I don't need a full coverage concealer with a sheer foundation yeah so I don't know if this is a favorite yet because I just started using it but I do really like it so far okay so that was the base products what else did I have yeah that was it for base I didn't really use too many other things and the things I did use, I only use like once or twice, so I don't have like a full opinion on them. Um, but those products, I know that I like them a lot. So moving on to blush and bronzer. Um, the first blush I have here is my Birds Bees Toasted, right? Toasted Cinnamon Blush. This one here, I love this tone looks like this this is actually very pigmented so I have to use a light hand um, and I think I like it better for the summer because it's kind of like a bronzy peachy shade but yeah really like this um, one of my all-time favorites is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach one because of the packaging how cute there you go um, but I also love this 
tone. I love peachy blushes, I've noticed. And this has like kind of like a gold shimmer in it, if you can see. So I really like this like all year round. Oh, and then my Natasha Denona Bloom Palette, which you guys have seen in some videos. I love this palette. That's what it looks like. So this is actually, I mean, it's supposed to be a blush palette. Well, it says blush and glow. So like these are obviously too dark for a highlighter. I have used this as a highlighter, but it's very glittery, so I would um, use this more for a cheek topper, but I love this shade and these two are cream shades by the way They're separated with this plastic thing so they don't the powder doesn't get in them um, Yeah, but I love this shade as a blush if you use a light hand and like a stippling brush It doesn't go on super crazy um, Yeah, I love the tones in here But this is like a spring summer product for me Oh, I also still love my Makeup Forever palette. I mentioned this in a favorites video before. These are like those palettes you can fill with any three products that you want. So I have like a contour shade, a blush, and <clears throat> this looks white on camera, but it's actually like... Um, beige kind of this is like a highlighting powder but not like a traditional like sparkly highlight more like under eye highlighting um but these powders are so um soft and finely milled you can blend them out so easily yeah so i really like these too and i use that when i travel because the packaging is so sturdy I'm not like concerned with it breaking or the powder shattering. And then for bronzers, I have, well, mainly this one I think has been my favorite. It's the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. This is a mini size, if you can see. I really like the tone of this and also blends super easily. But I had to give an honorable mention to my Marc Jacobs uh, Tantastic Bronzer. I've been using this a lot, mostly because it was very expensive and I'm trying to get my money's worth. But look, it looks like I haven't even touched it still. But I've been using this for months. But I still think, I think I prefer the Fenty a little more. Because this one, it also blends super well. I just find it doesn't give me like a bronzed look, if that makes sense. Whereas this maybe is more like, is it because it's warmer? Could that be it? Let's see. They kind of look the same, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I like both of these is what I'm trying to say. So I think for today though, I'm just going to use my um, peach blush. See how nice it is? And because it has like a bit of shimmer in it, it gives your skin like a nice glow. But it's not glittery, so I love that. Does this still smell? Yeah, not as much as it used to though. <laughs> So for bronzer, I will use the Fenty Beauty one. The only thing about having a mini bronzer is it's hard to get a brush that fits in there. It's normally bronzer brushes are big. Um, actually, that's something I could also mention. This is one of my favorite <clears throat> brush finds of the year. I've mentioned this already. It's the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. I use it as a bronzer brush. I love it so much. Um, but I'm going to use my Duo Fiber Brush because that other one's just way too big. I feel like this one is um, more pigmented than the Marc Jacobs as well. Like you don't need to go in as heavy with this. Um, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, my brush is falling apart in my hand. <laughs> oh, my back. Okay, so next. For highlight, it was pretty easy to choose my physician's formula. Is this called a shimmer brick? I think it's a shimmer brick. I think the trouble with physician, oh no, shimmer strips, all in one custom nude palette for face and eyes. I was just about to say the trouble with physician's formula is once you throw the box away, it doesn't have any like descriptors on there but it did say like in very small letters there but this is a great product um, and if you're someone who's like just trying out makeup or if you don't want to like have a huge collection um, and you don't want to spend tons of money this is pretty good because you can get like many different tones out of this I usually put my brush like in these four squares here which you can tell because they're like the most worn down but if you have like a deeper skin tone you could use these more or you could just mix it all up together I love this and I use this probably the most of any highlight that I have just because I, it's like a safe product like when I'm not on YouTube I don't like put tons of makeup on so it's something that I know like if I put this on it's not gonna look crazy or like silver on my face it's just a really nice highlighter but it still does have a really good glow the other one that I have is oh yes I haven't used this in a while but I know that I love it it's the um, from the flower beauty uh, lift and sculpt contouring palette in the shade light to medium so this highlighter here this is amazing this is a lot more intense than the physician's formula one so it's like more metallic it's so soft yeah look it's like a champagne highlighter look see it's like crazy pigmented but it does blend really well see oh yeah you can tell I just love that oh then Becca Opal I use this a lot too but this one is a bit darker if you can tell so this is like the highlighter I travel with because it's a mini and it's a sturdy packaging and usually when I do travel I'm going to like a hot climate so I do want something that's gonna go with more like a tan skin so I really love this I also have been using another mini one in vanilla quartz so this is better for winter for me even though it does have like a slight gold shift which you can't really tell on camera it just looks white but I really like the formula of those it's very smooth and doesn't look like powdery on your face and then my last one is actually a cream highlighter I wasn't sure if I should mention this because I don't think you can buy it separately it came in like a set but it's from MAC it's in the shade iced up and these are their cream color base I love using this when well mostly in the summer when I'm not using any powders or anything and I just want like a quick glow I use this it's um, kind of got like a pink yeah if you can see there so I don't think this shade is available but I know they do have other shades of this product which I'm pretty sure you can buy but I got this in like a, you know those kits that they do with the mascara and all that? That's where I got this. But I love this. And it doesn't like mess with your, any other products you have on your face. It doesn't like lift or like pill or do anything weird. I really like this too. I think for today, I kind of want to use this. Even though I just said before I was going for like 
a more simple look but I just want to remember how much I love it <laughs> um, I'm going to use my Milani whatever this is all over blending brush See how smooth that is? Just like melts into your skin. And I could build it up and it would get a lot more intense, but I don't want to do that. Then for eyeshadow, this one was hard because I think I have probably, no, I have more lipstick than eyeshadow, that's for sure. But I do have so many eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> so a lot of them I haven't used more than once, which is not that good. But these are some that I used this year. And even though I only used two of them once, I know that they're my favorite because I just I was so happy with like how the look turned out and the shades like the shadows were so easy to use you know when you just like put on eyeshadow and it just looks good like for nothing <laughs> like you didn't try too hard is what I'm trying to say so yes the first one is the Natasha Denona sunrise palette I wore this on my birthday and I loved it. I actually, I think I can put a picture in on the screen probably because I took some photos but I used, I think, I only went in with like all these yellow and orangey shades. This one here. Um, and it kind of made like a gradient and I just... I really loved it. I love yellow and orange eyeshadow and they all just blended together super nicely and yeah I mean it should be good because it's Natasha Denona and it's very pricey <laughs> but I really did like this and I'm glad that she started well this is the only one I think she's done so far but she made like a smaller palette so that it would be more affordable plus like who's going to use a whole eyeshadow palette anyway um but yeah I just really like this and I haven't even used like the cranberries or like the red shades yet but from what I tried so far it's amazing and it was super easy to use and the colors went on the eye like they look in the pan which is good also so yeah that's one of them the other one is the Jackie Ina and Anastasia collab this is beautiful looks like this I wore this on Thanksgiving and Josh when he saw like my eyes he's like your eyes looks like looks like thanksgiving and i was like oh great that's what i was going for because i um i use like well i use these two shades the two mattes here um what was it I'm, i think it was wiggly's this one yes and i think zam if I remember correctly yes and then I went in the inner corner with trust issues and it was just beautiful I just love the tones in this palette even though they are more like they're darker tones but I don't even care like I use ginger like in the crease and even though this palette doesn't have like a, a matte cream shade for um, for like a base or for my brow highlight I don't even care because I just love this so much so yes this one and my last one is this mini Too Faced Shaker Pom Poms this one I just put in because this is so like look look at this color story this is just so good for every day and so easy to see like what kind of looks you can put together plus the packaging is great for traveling yeah I just really like this 
it's so easy to use and the mats in here are really good you only have this one and this one and this one I can't tell if there's like shimmer in it because it got mixed with some other shadow but yeah they're just really good um, mattes to use with the other colors in this palette so I just think it's really cohesive and I love it so that was it for eyeshadow palettes because I honestly don't remember too much of the other ones that I used so that tells me they might not have been that good <laughs> or like I said I just haven't used my eyeshadow palettes enough to know how much I like them but those definitely stood out like when I was just sitting and thinking what are my 2019 favorites I immediately thought of those ones so for today since I don't want to do anything crazy I'm sorry if this is like a boring look but yeah it's nighttime so <laughs> I'm not gonna do like a full glam um but I do kind of want to use my Natasha Denona palette yeah you can make this more subtle I'm gonna go in with this shade Morgan in the crease Like, you see how, what I mean? That looks like it looks in the pan. And I didn't even like, I just went in so gently. And I just tapped a few times. I just think this was like a very well thought out palette. Because it, it does look like a sunrise. Like when I look at these colors, those are like all the colors that a sunrise could be. So I'm kind of just putting this everywhere and then blending it up into the crease and a bit past. I think I want to go in with Glory. This like purple plummy shade to add some depth. Just focusing that more on the outer corner. Yes, love that already. And then I want to go in with a shimmer shade, of course. And I think this middle one is calling to me Azalea. This one here. This is like, um, like a pinky purple with like duochrome shimmer, maybe. I think this is going to work best with my finger, actually. Yes. And then I'm just going to go back in with that brush to blend the edges. And for the bottom, I want to go back in with some of Morgan, the first shade here that I used, with the same brush because I don't care if they mix together. And just a touch of glory to deepen it up. And that's all I want to do. I do need a highlight shade though for my inner corner. I think I want to use this morning shade. I'm going to try a matte highlight shade. I have used this shade before in the look I was telling you and a bit on the brow bone. Like even that shade is pigmented, you see? Even though it looks like super pale pastel -y in the pan. That's why I love this palette. I think the next thing is mascara. Yes. I only have one, so that's going to be easy. 
It's the Fit Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've mentioned this in like all my videos because I only use this and the Milk, yeah, Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. But this one is way better because it actually curls my lashes and I've noticed that it even like curls them more throughout the day. Like as it dries, it even gets better. So yeah, the only thing is it's getting a bit old and it will start to get a bit clumpy. So you have to be gentle with it if you, if you have it for a long time. Um, but other than this one, I can't really remember any, well, other than this one and the milk one, I can't remember any other mascaras that I tried in 2019. So that tells me this one stood out the most. I really like the shape of this brush too. Like it's just, it's not too small. But it's just like the perfect size to not get it all over your eyelids and bottom lash, you know? Yeah. Really good. I think this came in a boxy charm. So I didn't actually ever buy this, but I would repurchase it if I needed to. I have so many other mascaras that aren't open yet because I keep getting them in boxy charms. So, yeah. Um, but I think that's it for the eyes. I just want to do something like simple. Oh yeah, for eyebrows. I actually don't have the product anymore because I finished it. It was the Hourglass um, Arch Fiber Brow Gel. I loved that so much. I love the applicator because it was long on one side like the spoolie part it was long on one side and short on the other so you could go in with the short side to like put the product on and then the long side you could like comb it out and i love the shade i had it in soft brunette it was just a really good product um it is a bit pricey i think it's like 34 dollars so and because i already had other things i haven't repurchased it yet uh, so this is like the only thing that I'm going to use in this video that's not really a favorite. And I don't even know where it is. Oh, here. Um, it's the Essence Make Me Brow. So I was hoping this could be a dupe. And this is like $5 or something like that. So that would have been good. But unfortunately it's not. It's not as good. And I don't like the shade on me. It's like too light and like almost like a taupe. But I need like a brunette because I want my eyebrows to be darker than my hair. And naturally they're already like, well, they look okay right now. <laughs> I think in the summer, when the sun gets on them, they look like super blonde. Um, so I always like them to look darker than they actually are. But yeah, this is the same kind of idea, like it's a fiber product. Benefit has one too, which that one I, I also like to remember. But I will be repurchasing the Hourglass because I just can't find one that beats it. I also really liked um, the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil, but I don't always use pencils. So if I'm going to be talking about my most used products, it's going to be like a product like this. That's like all I do to my brows. I don't like them to look super defined. So yeah, I just brush them with fiber gel and they look kind of messy and I don't care about it <laughs> I think the last category now oh no two okay two more categories but um one of them is super small so let's just go move on to lips I actually have two lip liners which you guys don't often see me talk about 
but I do um, wear lip liner like if I'm going out somewhere and I have a bold lip on sometimes with a nude lip to make it look a bit more defined um, so for nude lips I have the NYX oh dear what is this called nude suede shoes that's the shade the name is so ridiculously long and stupid so I'm just gonna say the NYX slide on lip liner um, this is a really good formula. It's one of these, like, not a, it's not like a wood pencil, you know, it's like a gel. It just goes on super smooth. That's the shade here. So it's a really good nude. And I do like this all over the lips also. And then when I wear a red lip I really like the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liners um, this one's a shade crimson this is like a true red and I love this packaging because when you open it it sharpens the pencil for you so it's always gonna look super good you know so that's the shade here isn't that so nice so I love this one And then for, well, this is not really a lipstick. This is more like a lip balm, but it has a tint. I've mentioned this before as well. I kind of stopped using it because that's all I have left and I was getting concerned. <laughs> and I had another like clear lip balm to use, but these are the Tarte uh, Quench Balms. What are they called? Quench Lip Rescue. This is the shade Nude. This is, I just love it. It smells good. It feels nice on the lips. Um, yeah. And it actually does hydrate. So, really like this. And I feel like I'm missing something. No, I guess I didn't really... Yeah, I tried to really narrow this down because I knew it was going to be a long video. Um, yes, for liquid lipsticks... One of my favorites that I discovered in 2019 is the Dose of Colors. I guess these are just called liquid lipsticks. Um, this is the shade Kiss of Fire. This is an amazing red shade. This is like my perfect red shade and actually goes very good with that lip liner. This is like a very bright, almost like a strawberry red. And even though this is a liquid lipstick, and it does dry down matte it doesn't look all like cracked and cakey on your lips and it wears off well so I really like this formula and this came in a boxy charm and then I got another one in a different shade of red so yeah now I have two and I'm not mad about it because I really like those dose of colors ones oh then the Kaja heart melter gloss stick I love this I actually want like a nude shade or like a more wearable shade but this is the first one I got I got it like a fun shade because at the time I was like well I don't know if I'm gonna love it and I already have so many like nudes so let me get this crazy shade so it looks like this but because this is like a gloss stick it's very sheer so it doesn't look like super bright pink it's more like a fuchsia but I really like this in the summer and this wears really nicely and it doesn't um, leave your lips dry or anything it's really good and then I have two lip glosses this one I was actually surprised about this is the NARS lip gloss in the shade orgasm um, I when I got this I think it came in like a Sephora favorite set I was like really whose favorite is NARS orgasm lip gloss um, well it's mine <laughs> because I love this I don't think it smells yeah there's no scent um, but I loved wearing this in the summer because it has like some shimmer to it and it just makes your lips look really nice and shiny and it's not sticky and yeah I just I really like this 
And then my other lip gloss favorite is another BoxyCharm product. It's the Dominique Cosmetics, I mean another product I got in BoxyCharm. It's a Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. This is the best smelling anything that I've ever smelled. It smells like that whipped vanilla frosting like in a can. Yes, that's what it smells like. And I just love the shade of this. It's a peachy pink. It's not sticky. It looks really nice on the lips. You know, sometimes shades like this that look kind of lighter in a gloss form, the pigments don't really mix well on the lips, if you know what I mean. But this one is really nice and it looks just really nice and natural and it goes with any look. So I love this. And that was it for lip products even though I tried like 18 million I feel I just felt like those are the ones that stood out to me the most and because my lips sorry I'm getting a makeup wipe out because my lips are super dry right now I'm going to go in with the Tarte product which I know is not very exciting but I just need it see how hard it is to get off that lip liner it really is always on. Is that what it was called? <laughs> always sharp. Whatever. It's always on is what I say. The last category, because we're going... Oh, I didn't even put the lip product on. Okay, I'm getting crazy. Oh yeah, my lips are bad. See how nice that is? And this is so shiny that it looks like a lip gloss, but it's actually a balm, so I really love it. Oh, and just to mention, there is like mint in here, so it does tingle a little, but not like a plumping gloss or anything. It just like, you can tell there's mint in it, but it feels really nice on the lips. Um, and then last, for setting spray, I can only use one of these because the other one is empty. And that is my MAC Fix Plus. I kept the bottle because, I don't know, there's some kind of back to MAC thing. But when am I ever going to use up, <laughs> I think it's like five or six MAC products and then you get a lip gloss or a lipstick or an eyeshadow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I save this. I use the whole thing. I have so many minis of this but I haven't opened them yet because I'm trying to use some older products. But this is like a holy grail to me. This is great for dry skin because if you put like products on that make your skin look a bit cakey or if you put some powder on and you just look very dry, this will fix you right away. I don't know if it makes your makeup last longer, but it makes it look better over time is what I've noticed and yeah oh the smell is really nice too it's, it's like a spa water smell to me anyway I think that's all I have to say about this just works really well oh and I use it also to dampen my brushes if I want to put like a metallic shadow on or anything it works really well for that. The only thing is the sprayer on this. If you've ever tried this product, you know you have to hold it like super far from your face because it's a very direct hit. <laughs> and yeah, but I kind of learned how to work around that, so it's fine. So my other one, which I will use now, is my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Hydrating and glowing radiance, it says. So this, on the other hand, compared to the MAC Fix Plus, the spray on this is so gentle. See? It's like... I don't know. It's like a, a cloud of mist. And it smells like watermelons and it's beautiful. And I was keeping this as a summer product, but... Um, I was watching a video, I think it was Lauren May Beauty, I'll leave her channel below because I really like her 
and you should watch her videos but um i think she it was her it has to be her i'm pretty sure it was her she was saying like this product doesn't stay well like the shelf life is not that good because it um it gets like it starts to change color because it is like a more clean base product don't like quote me on that but there is like supposedly actual like watermelon pieces in here so this is going to come back in my everyday makeup drawer um because i don't want this to go bad because it's kind of expensive um but yeah i'm gonna use this now mm. <coughs> don't get in your mouth though yeah, that just feels like, you know when you go, like, somewhere hot and they have, like, those misters to, like, cool you down? That's what this feels like. And I really like it. I think that's it. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. This was just, like, a really quick look. I mean, I was talking a lot about different products, but... I could have done this in like 10 minutes if I wasn't filming a video. Um, but yeah, um, that's it. So uh, let me know below what some of your products, what some of your favorite products were in 2019. What are you excited about for 2020? And yeah, I do, I did film another video, but I wanted to put this one up first because the other one's more like just product shots and I wanted to make like a 2020 introduction because <laughs> because I felt pressured and all the other YouTubers, not that I'm a YouTuber, I do like one video a month if that, but um, they're all like coming on and making these like super important videos about their 2020 goals. And yeah, I just felt like I had to do something, something related to the new year. So I hope you like this video and I do have a lot more videos coming. So I hope you'll stick around for those. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.